Hi everybody, welcome back once again. So today I'm fairly excited to share with you some of the stuff that I've been learning as I create my uh, my own digitizing of anything I want to create. And just a disclaimer, this is not for sale. Uh, this is I'm doing this just for my wife. I'm not going to be selling this, and this is also you know pushing my own limits to see what I can do and what I can learn as I go. So specifically what we're going to be talking about today, uh, I'm going to start breaking the videos down into shorter videos just because I know it's a lot of information. As you can see from the title, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing holes into fills. Uh, I learned this just the hard way, trial and error, so let's get into it and I'll show you what I did. As you can tell, this background is not very, uh, it's not very crisp, the quality, there's not enough pixels, so it's very blurry. So I'm going to have to do my best to figure out exactly where these lines belong. Um, but the biggest challenge was uh, trying to use this quick stitch and hole. It just became a mess. I could not get it to do anything properly. So this is where you know the ex experience and the knowledge in using this program comes in, comes in handy. You stop relying so much on these quick tools and are able to do things uh, pretty efficiently without uh, with your own knowledge. Yeah. So let's go to point create. And we're just going to create this border around here and we'll give it a best our best shot to figure out exactly you know what makes sense for this design here looks good uh, looks okay edge curve edge we'll turn this one to an edge and we'll shift it a little bit okay Cool. Oop, let me change this color over here. I want it to actually be the gold. So pull it up here. There we go. Okay, so it, it, decent. Um, let's go ahead and clean up this up a little bit. I, I can already tell this is a little bit lopsided. That's okay, but we'll fix it. Um, so I'm dragging that. I'm going to get rid of this just to match this side, and I'll make this one an edge as well. If you guys have a different idea of how to do it or your own design, feel, feel, feel free to do it. I'm going to delete this, uh, Control D, and delete that, there we go, I'll right click to get out of that, and then we'll drag this out a little bit again. I'm going to keep repeating the quick commands to you guys, just so you guys can learn how to do this as well, so you guys aren't wondering what I'm clicking. There we go, and then just as a quick reminder, whenever I drag this, you do have to hold shift to keep it as an edge. Okay, so let's get back into it. So one of the things I tried to do initially, and I think it's the the inability of the machine to create a satin stitch and create such tiny gaps, um, was I have to create this as a fill. Um, maybe one day when I learn how to do satin stitches with, and create holes into them, I can teach you guys, but this is the way I was able to, to do it. Because when I did a satin stitch and tried to create a hole, it just wasn't wanting to do it. Um, maybe something that I was lacking that I didn't do correctly, but this is how I figured it out, and maybe you guys can replicate this or figure out a different way. So let's see here. So what I did was I went to hole, and before that, I actually found out that using 2D view is a huge help. You can see the stitches individually just to make sure that the ends of the stitches are lining up where you want them. And also, you can see the background as well. So here, we can start making the holes. Um, just for your information, object view is just going to trace out the, uh, the outline of your stitching. So it might be a little bit hard to see, but you can see it there, and even on these satin stitches out here. So we're going to change it to 2D view just to give us a good idea, and you'll see why I like to use 2D. So let's go right. We'll create the first point here. We'll make this a square. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm holding shift this whole time and then right click and that creates the gap. See, I already created a bit pretty, I think I nailed it pretty good. So there you go, nice little gap. Let's go to point create again, make sure whole, usually the last tool you selected is still being used, so we'll click, 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 and oops, line this up a little bit, make it nice and even, make our best effort to make it nice. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Uh, obviously, these little guys right here, we'll just, you know, do this. You can curve it if you want, if your design needs requires that. Oh, it looks kind of weird. It's okay. There you go. Pretty simple, right? One thing I will let you guys know, if you make your square too small, 
it might not work so let's and it also depends on the direction of your stitching so if I try to make a tiny little hole that's not gonna work see so sometimes depending on your design you might have to make it a little bit bigger and in this view you can see where the embroidery machine is gonna plan to do stitches at least and then you can kind of get a better idea of how that's gonna go okay so that's that let's see here let's go to 3d view that looks pretty good let's check it out in the in this view right here yeah not bad all right guys so once again please do leave me a comment if you guys want any other information uh, as far as this program goes I'm still learning as I go and in the next video I'm gonna try to show you guys how to clean up your embroidery project so the back side of your embroidery does not look like a huge bird's nest that's something I've been very picky about that and if I'm giving this to someone I don't want them to turn it around and see a whole mess of threads so if you want to see that uh, if you're excited for that please do give a like uh, you can subscribe if you want. It's not a big deal. Just please make sure to come back. I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing this just to give you guys, give you guys the knowledge. I know how frustrating it can be to have something, a software you don't know what to do, and there's no information out there. So I'm just doing my best to help you guys out, okay? Thank you very much. Have a great day, and God bless.